Now we're going to talk about what if we were just looking at a section of a circle. So if you think about all the degrees in a circle, a circle is 360 degrees. So if I was just going to go a fourth of the way around the circle, so this is like a fourth of a circle, a fourth of 360 degrees is 90 degrees, which that looks like a right angle. That makes sense. That's a 90 degree angle. So a fourth of a circle, this section, this angle right here would just be 90 degrees. This looks like a Pokemon, but it's not. Got like a Kajama, Pokemon. Um, this is a half circle. And if you think half of 360 degrees is 180 degrees, which this is a straight line, a straight angle is 180 degrees, totally makes sense. So we can find any, this is, these are all called sectors. So think of like a section of a circle, a sector. This is like a slice of pizza or like a piece of pie or something like that. Clearly I'm hungry. Um, so it's like a section of a circle is called a sector. So this is a sector. And so whatever angle this is, so whatever this angle right here is, we can put that over 360. So for example, this was 90, that angle is 90. So 90 over 360 is a fourth. So that tells me that's a fourth of a circle. 180 over 360, that gives me a half. So it tells you what portion of the circle you're talking about. So whatever your angle is, it can be one degree, it can be 200 degrees, it doesn't matter. Um, whatever your angle is, you put it over 360 and that tells you what fraction of the circle the sector is covering. So if I know the whole entire area of this circle, the whole circle, because I can just do pi r squared, if I know the whole area, and I really just want to find this pink area, well, I know since that angle is 90, that that's a fourth of the circle. So I would just take the whole area and find a fourth of the area. I would just do one fourth of the area. Or if I wanted to find just this orange area, if I knew the whole area of the circle, wouldn't this just be half of the area of the circle? It's just half a circle, so it's just half of whatever the area of the circle is. So. If you are finding this area of this sector, you would put this angle over 360 and then just find that portion of the area of the circle. So it's like that fraction of the area of the circle. So to find the area of a sector, remember a sector is just like a piece of the circle. So if I just wanna find just this purple area, and this needs to be the, this is the center of the circle. So it can't just be some random point. This is the center of the circle. And this is your radius. The area of a circle is, the area of the sector is found by either one of these two equations. Finding the angle of the sector, the measure of the sector over 360 times the area of the whole circle or you can set up a proportion. The area of the sector, so you can call it X or whatever, the area of the sector over the area of the circle is equal to the angle over 360. So the area of the sector over the area of the whole thing is the same ratio as the ratio of the angle over the whole thing, which is 360. So if you think part over whole, the area of the sector is the part, the area of the circle is the whole thing. The angle of the sector is the part, 360 is the whole measure. So part over whole equals part over whole. I think this bottom proportion is a lot easier, but some people really like the top equation. Either one's fine, as long as you show me your work on your paper, we're good. So let's look at this example. If the circumference of the circle below is 10 pi, what's the area of the shaded sector? 
So I'm looking at this sector and I'm like, I don't know what the radius is. So it tells me right here the circumference of the circle. So circumference is 2 pi r. So I know my circumference is 10 pi, so I'm going to go plug it in for circumference. And so now I can, this is going to help me find my radius. So I'm trying to get the radius all by itself, so i got to go over this 2 pi. So I'm going to divide by 2 pi on both sides. And then I cancel, cancel, and then the pi's cancel out, and then 10 divided by 2 is 5. So our radius is 5. And then this white sector is 60 degrees, so all the way around is 360 degrees, so I can find this, this angle of this shaded sector by doing 360 minus 60, which is 300 degrees. Because 300 degrees plus 60 degrees is 360 degrees, which is the total all the way around the circle. So this shaded sector has an angle of 300 degrees. So I'm trying to find the area of this shaded sector, which I don't know what it is, so I'm going to call it x, so the area of the shaded sector over pi r squared, the area of the whole circle. Now we know our radius is 5, so pi 5 squared should be equal to the measure of that sector, so the angle, which is 300, over the total 360. So part over whole equals part over whole. I don't, I don't know the area of this part, that's why I'm calling it x, but I can find the area of the whole thing, pi r squared, and we just found our radius is 5, equals 300 over 360. So I can reduce this. I have x over pi. 5 squared is 25 pi. And then 30 over 36 reduces to 5 over 6. You don't have to reduce it. I just think it's easier. Um, and so then we're going to cross multiply. Going to cross multiply. So 6 times x is 6x. So I take, I multiply the two numbers in one loop, 6 and x, then I set it equal to, I'm going to multiply the numbers in the second loop, 5 times 25 pi, so 6x equals 5 times 25 is 125 pi, so then I'm going to divide by 6, doesn't reduce, so x is just 125 pi over 6. So there's two ways that we can write our answers for these types of problems. If I say I want you to keep your answer in terms of pi, that means I want you to keep the pi in the final answer. So I'm not, I don't want you to press the pi button. I don't want you to substitute pi for 3.14. I just want you to write it exactly like this, 125 pi over 6. You can reduce and clean up and simplify the numbers, the coefficients and the numbers, but you are not touching that pi. You are leaving the pi simple. If I say in the directions I want your answer in terms of pi, I want to see a pi in your final answer. If I say I want your answer like rounded to the nearest tenth, for example, we're going to press the pi button in, in our calculator. So the pi button is right below the clear button. So I would do 125 pi, divide that by 6, and I would get 65.449. So rounded to the nearest tenth would be 65.449. So make sure you're paying careful attention. What do the directions tell you what to leave your final answer in? If it says in terms of pi, I don't know, see your pi in your final answer. You can clean up all the numbers, but you got to stick that pi on there. If I say round to the nearest tenth, you're going to press the pi button. You're going to type this whole thing, pressing the pi button in your calculator, and get 65.4. Don't use 3.14. Use the pi button. It's more accurate.